Hello there, wonderful people, and welcome to a new format, which is uh, today uh, sketching out an enclosure for the upcoming game Planet Zoo. So as you may know, I am at the uh, Gamescom, uh, I'll just write that down here, uh, Gamescom 2019, which is from the 21st of 20 uh, till the 24th, I should say, of uh, August uh, this year. And um, at the Gamescom, I'm streaming live from the event and I'm actually playing the beta ahead of time uh, of uh, Planet Zoo and I thought you know what um, tomorrow there is the International Tiger Day or the World Tiger Day I think it's called uh, anyways um, to this um, very occasion I thought it would be very cool to start something that I hopefully will use in the future a bit more as a kid I used to draw quite a lot of sketches about like you know architectural structures and uh, uh, basically I, I made blueprints and all that kind of stuff um, because I just had fun with it and I kind of you know I got lost in this but um, in the meantime uh, for some whoa, okay, I didn't even know that worked. Um, but in the meantime, there is something uh, even more ex important, so to say, and this is making uh, something ahead of time for Planet Zoo. And I'm trying now to sketch out, as you have seen from the thumbnail, obviously, uh, an enclosure for a tiger. So. We're gonna start now by just laying out a little bit of the, the, the base for it and this is uh, really where the pathing would be. So the, the main idea about this enclosure will definitely be that um, you know, guests can see the tigers um, for the most part, but we also have a lot of areas where the tigers can hide away and where they basically, you know, uh, where they're not seen because tigers don't like to be seen that much. Uh, so, yeah, this is why I'm also planning to do it a little bit like so. And bear in mind, uh, I haven't used my graphics tablet for like a, a decade, it feels. Um, so, yeah, it, it potentially could be that the drawing is really bad and really weird. So, uh, please, please don't judge me on that one because yeah, I don't know it's as I said just a, a long time ago that I used it the last time so this is why I'm, I'm just trying my best here to, to bring something to I, I would say the paper but this is definitely not the paper uh, it's definitely the digital paper if you want uh, so the idea is to have like something like a main plaza over here um, which is connected to the first viewing uh, opportunity for the guests and then we bring the whole stuff around and in best case we can actually try to recreate this enclosure uh, in the beta so if there will be tigers in the game and I can't believe they would slip that opportunity which would be then for tomorrow um, to not show off tigers I mean I'm, I'm fairly certain that we will have tigers in the game anyway so uh, why not show them tomorrow then right so yeah, basically this is um, just uh, starting off doing what I wanted to do here uh, to make sure that we have a little bit of a general layout and then we can start doing some uh, details about it. So I don't want to make this video like awfully long, but I, I want to have like a result that we can at least get a glimpse of what the tiger enclosure can look like in the future. And yeah, it could also be like a head start for our zoo project in the future uh, once I am uh, starting to do something so uh, yeah, but uh, for the moment this is just me drawing out some some pathing uh, Where it could lead I don't know we could have something else in here This could be kind of a another area, but uh, I definitely wanted to have like a, a building over here over to this downside over here I, I just thought okay This could be very well be like a restaurant area or I don't know just a facility building where uh, guests like have a little bit of a food court or whatever going on here so we're just gonna connect this uh, to the pass right over here uh, I still think I need to change the size of uh, the uh, let me just change the size of the eraser because this is way too big um, whoops and we need to just bring that all down to 20 ish yeah 20 ish is fine uh, and now I need to go back to my normal pen and use the uh, where they go uh, it still is too big I guess no it's not well it is um, wait okay um, yeah my my pen is a little broken you know what I just do I just go over no let me just don't do this uh, here we go just uh, use the deleting tool like this because my it's a very old bamboo painting pad from Wacom but it's it's very 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 old so uh, I, I kind of think it's even a bit broken the pen definitely is broken I uh, needed to fix it with some tape ahead of this recording so I'm really looking looking into getting a new one because uh, yeah that's what would help to deliver better results in the future anyways so 
I definitely want to make sure that we have uh, a backstage access to the tiger area as well and that's definitely going to be over here so this will be the building where the tigers are actually living in so that's that's going to be this one and then we're gonna have like the backstage access uh, to this side over here so the the path just goes to the left hand side and then we have like something like a gate or uh, whatever over here and then this this might be like the backstage area of the tiger enclosure so we could have yeah, you know what we could just already start making some some details in in the back here so this is definitely where we would have like a gate i just try to make that gate a bit more prominent so that we have it like so and i think if we would be to I have this one here we definitely would have like a little bit of a planter that is uh, covering up this area a little bit from the from the inside and then I think the guest would be guided this way so yeah as we would do it like so uh, you could definitely tell that there could be like a, a warning strip down here on the bottom part that uh, you know I guess shouldn't be going on it looks like a f1 track for the moment but uh, it will hopefully get better in the future uh, in this episode. So yeah, I'm, I'm fairly certain it will. So okay, we have um, basically, I think we sketched out everything how we needed it over here. Uh, now we can start doing some uh, more elements to the enclosure itself. So um, as I said, this should be somehow like uh, the area where the um, tigers live in. So this is definitely going to have also some exhaust uh, vent systems to the top that kind of meander here to the left hand side and just connect it to the side and I believe it would be cool to just reduce the opacity here uh, it would be actually cool to have like a rock structure in front of it so basically to cover off the um, the building itself a little bit be better uh, it might make sense to have a little bit of a, a rock structure going on here I don't know how exactly I would show that from top but I think I try to just have a little bit of a shadowing stuff going on here to make sure that we have a little bit of someone that you could guess that this would be a rock structure. So here we go. Just do it a little bit like so. I think, yeah, I think you can definitely tell that this is something like a like a rock structure. Okay, anyways, I definitely want to have also some, some water down here. So I would believe that we will have uh, like a pond that is somewhere in the middle here because I want to make the tigers swim as well as um, giving them a good time in this enclosure. So this is this is definitely where uh, the tigers could get a little bit of a cool breeze of some water in here. And yeah, definitely need to make sure that this is seen as water. So I think if we draw these kind of lines in, hopefully it, it gives you the idea of being water. And then we can also already make sure that we have a little bit of like, you know, uh, foliage going on. I mean, it's it's almost like doing a, a sketch for someone who's who's hopefully planning out the uh, overall um, enclosure in the future. And uh, this is more like it's it's not like an accurate uh, architectural sketch over here. But I, I just wanted to make sure that we at least have an idea of how it could look like. So what I definitely want to have here as well is um, not not some nice boobs, even though it looked like for it uh, like it like a second. But I want to have like a bigger rock structure here as well so that the um, the tigers can actually hide behind that one as well so i think this is pretty important as well to give them enough space to hide because yeah as you know these uh lovely creatures um don't don't want to be seen that often so that's why you definitely want to have uh something where they can hide so uh, this one over here i don't know exactly how we could sketch that out but this is definitely the area where they would then went down to the to the water area so just let's let's make sure that we have a little bit of a different uh, structure here so it's making this pretty obvious that there is a way down uh, I think this area in the back here can be seen as more of the area where they can relax and chill out um, so because I think the wall over here should be closed off so this is definitely where they have some maybe some toys even uh, to, to play around with uh, this could be somewhat like a structure I don't know what exactly would be a tiger toy but uh, this could be just something over here where they could play with I don't know if, if you might know, I know they, they are they are cats so cats potentially like boxes so I put some boxes down here oops I didn't even know I can do this um, but yeah so let's just put some boxes here and just give it a little bit of a different 
soil structure so that everyone is aware of the fact that there is something else going on. Uh, Alright, so what I want to do then is to make sure that we have some foliage going on here. Um, a little bit more of uh, rock work should go in here. You know what we do, we just zoom in a little bit. Uh, okay, let me just go a bit more to, sorry, zoom a bit out here. Okay, so if we go a little bit further to here, okay, this is awesome. So we can now use this a bit better from being a bit closer to make sure that we, you know, just make the rock structure really appear as one um, and make it like too weird. I don't know if I can, can I move the picture like so? I, I, I think, oh yeah, that works, okay. Uh, at least I remember something from my pen. <laughs> That's kind of cool as well. So we have done this here and now let me, let me just change the size of it to like, now six is maybe still too much. Let's change it to like four, hello. I was, uh, yeah, I was doing something wrong with my mouse here. I'm sorry, this is, this is life, this is purely life, I am a stupid person when it comes to this uh, drawing stuff because I haven't done this in a while. Okay, so it's smaller now and yeah, this is how we get some details in. So I want to make sure that this area pretty much is like really, oops, um, the viewing area. Hello, there you go. This is definitely the first viewing area for our guests. So let's just first of all draw in. I, I imagine this could be like an overhanging uh, viewing gallery so that the whole thing goes a little bit down here and the water pond is a little bit lower than actually this gallery so that's why I'm drawing this gallery over here and then we would have like two entrances one over here actually to go in and the other one goes over here so you, you know you know we could actually have then uh, kind of double glass uh, imagery or whatever so that the uh, tigers can't really see the people but the people can see the tigers I think that would be one of the best models uh, to do it because otherwise uh, yeah it, it kind of annoys the animals too much and uh, we all don't want that so this is why I think this could be a great idea to do it that way and just making sure that this is somewhat uh, you know, it's a believable gallery thing if we do that over here. And just kind of a connection piece over here to the left and to the right. Just making sure that this looks a bit more edgy to those two sides. And then potentially we have some information signs just in front of here. They're just held here. And then if we move the whole thing, oops, uh, I need to press that button. Hello, can you just please? There we go. Um, okay, I want to go to this food court over here as well. And now the first thing we do is we just draw some of the trees. Uh, if I remember correctly, this is basically how you draw the trees. Um, I don't remember if it would be clev more clever to just draw them all on my own now, or if I just should go in and uh, copy paste them in. I think it's better to just draw them myself. I think it looks a lot more believable if they all look a little bit more different in the end. But anyways, you would have a little bit of, you know, I don't know if it's foliage, what you all have in here, but it definitely is a planter. So that's that's how it goes. And then just put a bench or whatever here and put another one here. I think I don't want to over complicate the whole thing. So this is definitely where you would have the food court. I just put down, I think, you know what, we, we make them umbrellas. I think it's cooler to make them umbrellas. And umbrellas always have like this weird shape. So let's just uh, do it this way. I think that makes the whole thing uh, look more believable as umbrellas and kind of a food court. And then, yeah, they just have, always have the di different colors, right? So let's just do it like so. And I, I just can't count, so that's that's even better uh, if we just do it that way. And okay, that was stupid, so let's do it this way. Great. Um, okay, that one, that one, and just do this again. It's all the umbrella cop here. Uh, great, so let's use this as well. Cool. And then we can also still make sure that this looks like as if there were some benches below here. Otherwise, this looks a bit too much like, I, I mean, it could have to be a carousel or whatever, uh, but I want to make sure that this is simply looking like somewhat of a food court or whatever. Uh, I think this potentially is what it should look like. Okay, so here we go. And then just have some information sign here. Another one goes over here and I think a bin on this hand side. Another bin goes here and then we would have the entrance here. You know what, the entrance could have like a little awning and just make a little awning here as well. And then, I don't know, uh, we can actually zoom out a little bit more. 
Uh, hello, can we just, just zoom out? Thank you. Uh, great, I think this is pretty much all about what we need to do for the food court here. Um, I'm willing to put some more trees in here. And there we go. One more tree, two more tree, three more tree. God, they look different when you do it like so. Anyways, um, so yeah, it could actually even be like if this is the restaurant, you know, um, that this on the other side here is like also the backstage. You know what we do? We just make like a wall that goes uh, pretty much through here. And then the only thing we have is like a an access to the backstage area. And you know what? We just pretend these are like parking lots down here. And um, yeah, let's just draw a line down here as if there would be a road going on here. And then we have a little bit of a gate over here as well. And then there's just some some stuff standing around here in the in the back. I don't know. Could be a pallet with some stuff on just over here. And there we go. I think this is pretty much all we need to do about the restaurant. Uh, maybe just give it a little bit of a spire, which could be this thing. Here we go. Be like maybe even African themed or Asian themed maybe. Would make more sense for the tigers, I guess. Uh, anyways, okay, we've done this. Let's zoom out even more, please, uh, because I want to make sure there we go this is now you know this is getting a lot better I don't I think I'm, I'm not going to draw the full thing now uh, because uh, this will definitely make too much work but we still have a very open plain area over here which I think we are going to fill out a little bit with foliage obviously uh, but first of all we need to make sure that we have a lot of trees on this hand side down here because we don't want to make the tigers be lazy and uh, or not be lazy but don't make them uh, be annoyed this is what I wanted to say because um, yeah all the guests can have a too much of a glimpse inside here uh, I want to make sure that this is like a proper fence over here you just draw this line a bit thicker and just make sure that we have a little bit of a planter going on here great so this is a planter anyways and just like do a little bit of a smaller uh, thing so that we we could just imagine that this is something smaller and then just have one tree that is in here something like so I think that's kind of nice and then we just draw this line a bit more steady so here we go just make sure that this looks like something I think we can just block off these areas so that we just know there is nothing in here to care about right now just make sure like so okay great um, the only thing is how can we fence off this area I'm not quite sure how exactly so um, I believe it would be nice to just make sure that there is like an incline in in the uh, overall terrain here uh, just like so then we can have a little bit kind of uh, I think it, it makes sense to to make sure that there is like an incline I don't know if this is how you would show it but um, the idea about the incline is that the tigers, if they if they relax down here, they can't be seen that nicely and, and just have a little bit more of privacy uh, going on. And I think this is where we were able to put some more trees in here. Here we go. And just put another one over here. There you go. Just a little bit of a smaller one. And just a very big one over here. I feel like a child again, which, uh, to be honest, is very cool. I don't know. Just make sure that we have a lot more foliage in between here. That looks somewhat like if it would be planned to be here. Okay, cool. So this is nice. And now let's do some more rock work here and there. Okay, let's make sure that we can distinguish this as rock work while the other stuff is trees. Um, just willing to make sure that the trees get a little bit more of a tree shape well that's not a tree shape but you know what I mean you, you definitely know what I mean I hope you know what I mean because otherwise I'm screwed okay anyways this is all about what we can do here so I think we can just keep like a little bit of a more facility thing over here and then we just close off the whole enclosure to the top right hand side uh, I think that's kind of cool and then just let's let's go in and put some benches here and there. I think that would be a cool corner to have some benches. Uh, we'll have some benches here. And then I don't know if there would be... I uh, you know what, we, we just put another tree in the middle here. And another one goes here. And then there in the middle uh, would be some 
some cool beading down there, you know, you could just relax and then just make sure to, oops, okay, uh, we need to zoom in a little bit uh, for two main reasons. So first of all, I want to make sure we can kind of put some, I, I think it's more like lanterns or whatever. Um, I don't know what my, my, my pen is doing. Yeah, I just want to make sure that there's like a little nice circle going on. There we go. That can be seen as, I don't know if it's a lamppost or whatever it is and just make sure that this is a nicer line of benches down here. That's kind of cool. We have another tree growing here and then I think we're pretty much done. So the last thing I want to do is uh, to make sure that people understand that this is the tiger enclosure. We're kind of trying to draw out a tiger shape now into, you know, this is how, how Zeus actually would do it as well. And just, you know, make a little bit of a, of a um, hint what kind of animal that is. So I'm, I'm willing to, to draw a little bit here uh, of what could potentially be a tiger. I'm, I'm not quite sure if this will look nice in the end because I, as I said, I am not in training, if you will. So I just make sure that I have the overall shape of a tiger and then just call it a day. I don't know if that makes, se makes any sense, but uh, yeah, I will just try and, and do whatever I can to make like a nice looking a uh, little tiger sketch. Let's call it sketch because it's definitely not going to be more than a sketch here. Uh, just to make sure that you guys can have an idea of um, yeah, the, the idea that this is a tiger from, from the thumbnail, but also uh, in terms of uh, drawing a card or whatever you want to call it, it definitely is a good idea to uh, make this uh, yeah feel at least something like uh, a tiger and not just a weird drawing. However, I prefer a weird drawing here because I have no idea how a tiger actually properly looks, but uh, you know what, I just uh, try to, you know, hint at what it could be and then uh, hopefully we are good to go. Just make sure that we, we get in some, some of the stripes already uh, here and there just to make sure that we are in the right kind of direction going in here to do it like so and then you know definitely what will be the hardest thing is and uh, you know I just need to definitely zoom into it because otherwise okay um, so we are at four I think I want to go down to two to make sure that I have a bit more control over what I'm doing uh, let me just choose the rubber here or not the rubber the eraser I should say and um, yeah, here we go. So I think um, if I look at the nose now, this will be again, as I said, the, the most hardest thing to do. Oh, wait, am I with the eraser? No, I'm not. Hello? Oh, yeah, there we go. Cool. Uh, I don't know why my computer didn't didn't work here, but well. So, okay, it's because it's too small, I believe. Is it is it because it's too small? Because that's not really helping uh, my, my, my idea here to, to make this tiger at least look something as a tiger. Uh, well, I don't like that. So let's put this then to uh, three. Maybe three is the number we need to go to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is going on? Hello, please don't, don't fool me. Don't ever fool me here. So three, boom, here we go. Hopefully this is working. Now, yeah, that's, that's definitely working a little bit better, even though I don't know. Okay, uh, well, if I don't press that, hard it does the job which is which is okay and then uh, yeah as I said I'm just trying to hint at what it is let's make it a bit smiling and then you know I think we can already distinguish that this is going to be somewhat of a tiger at least I'm, I'm fairly happy with how it uh, turns out here at the beginning uh, not to mention I'm always pretty good at uh, destroying what I just started uh, with these kinds of kind of drawings always and ever so anyways, let's make sure that it has like a little bit of a proper eye. I see, uh, I just destroyed it already by making this eye really weird indeed. But you know what, uh, just pretend this was totally meant to be that way. And now let's get in with all the stripes in effect. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a weird tiger, I admit. I definitely admit. If I would have more time here and a bit more time to relax and, and just make it a bit more better. Uh, it, it hopefully would look a lot better than it does right now. But yeah, well, this is this is just uh, me trying to, to prepare for tomorrow. So maybe I'm going to improve that later on and do like a time lapse of it or whatever. But uh, for now, 
I think I'm definitely going to go with this one. So we need to make sure that there is, I think this is the area where you have the, oh god, how is this called in English? The little ha beard hairs or whatever it's called. They're definitely not called beard hairs, uh, but this is what they have here. So um, yeah, okay, let's make sure that we have a lot more of the wonderful fur going down here. Uh, it's kind of hard to make it appear very fluffy. Uh, so this is why I'm trying to make it a bit more w with shadowing and then I don't know, pretend this is fluffy. I don't know. I hope you know what I mean. I mean, um, it's, it's also kind of kind of hard to talk and then just to, to draw while talking and, and do all this kind of stuff here. Uh, let me just get a bit more opacity in here to make the eyes appear a bit nicer and also to kind of uh, make some lines appear some uh, something, something darker, a bit more defined to get the shape of the whole animal a bit better into here. So yeah, uh, this is where we hopefully get in, make the mouse a bit more defined and also the nose should be definitely a bit more defined. So just to make sure that this looks uh, a little bit like a tiger. Here we go. And now I think we can try to use, wow, okay, this is way too big. Um, that's what she said. So let's now go down to one is two less. I want to go to, oh, well, you know what? Put in three as well. Three was kind of a good choice um, because I want to make sure that we just ever so slightly delete that. Uh, here we go, cool. And now I hopefully can just make it like so. And then we should also darken this area in here, the nose a little bit. Here we go, okay, cool. Now it's the only last bits we need to do are a little bit more of the lines here on, on their arm and just put more shade down here. I think that's how we want to do it. And you know what? We could just maybe do it like so. Okay. And just, you know, do it a little bit like this and then just get some some stripes in here. I mean, it, it almost looks like a Siberian tiger now because it's uh, black and white. And so, you know, that's why. But I think you can at least tell what we were going for here. So that's kind of cool. And just like, you know, I'm just pretending to get in the, it almost looks like a lion, but I think you can still see that it's a tiger. Okay, anyways, let's zoom out and see how it looked from, from a distance. I think it's kind of okay. It's it's not amazing, but it's uh, it's definitely better than I expected for, for the, this short amount of time. And then just like make sure that we have a little bit like so. And put in... Oh, wow. If I would be to do this like so, I am definitely going to use a bit more of a bigger... Oh my god, this is way, way, way too big. Um, I think like something like... Nope. Um, let me put in 10. I think 10 should be fine. There we go. Oh wow. Okay, so now can we just do the I? There we go. G, E, R. There we go, tiger, awesome. Okay, that's about it uh, for today's episode of uh, me sketching out an enclosure. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this and um, uh, it just is kind of an idea to uh, make something new, something more interesting in advance of the wonderful series of uh, Planet Zoo upcoming and also to give me an idea what I can do at uh, the Gamescom. So maybe we can try to actually build this enclosure we have just sketched out here, which would be a cool thing to do, I guess. Um, but for now, that's about it and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more of it in the future, let me know in the comments down below because I'm also willing to make it a bit more advanced and maybe just do a time lapse of it and then just talk you through my drawing because obviously talking while doing this and just getting used to my pen again you know it could be better but you know I'm, I'm somewhat I'm somewhat happy with the results so yeah I hope you guys are too and now uh, let me know in the comments down below how you liked it and see you next time bye bye